Oh yeah, um, I wanted to go over the bug actually. Let's take a look at the bug guys, and then I'll play more. So before we start the video, I want to talk to you guys about Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based RPG game that takes place in the realm of Teleria. Build a strong party of champions to carry you through the game. You can go through the campaign that puts you into battles alongside an interesting storyline. They even have different game modes you can play, like dungeons and faction wars, that drop a variety of rewards that you can use to your advantage. Once you get a strong party, you can test your strength in the arena and burst clan bosses where you can play with or against other people to get even better rewards. Now there are free rewards you can get each day by logging in, but collect enough daily login rewards and you can get a free legendary champion, Sile of the Drake. Also if you're a new player, you can click on the special link down below to get 200,000 silver plus one free champion. You can check the rewards you get on the top right. I personally think the game is fun. It's simple and easy to pick up, yet also has its intricacies that keeps the game interesting. And it also has a pretty big player base. So I'd say give it a shot, see if you like it. Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. The link will be in the description below. Basically the bug, right? Basically what it is, is that when you place a dagger and it disappears, if you're pressing E on it before it disappears and you're out of range and you walk into the range, the dagger is still technically there so you could actually still jump on it, right? There is some timing to it though, hold on. See, isn't that really weird? I wonder how far I can go though. The timing... A little bit, a little bit hard. Wonder if I could just press it once. No, I have to like spam it. Wait, so I have to do it as fast as possible. If I do it too slow, is it not gonna work? Yeah, I think that's the case, hold on. Yeah, you see me walking? I'm still going. And I'm still pressing E. I'm pressing as fast as I can too. That's really weird. I'm moving. All right, let me see if I stop. I stopped pressing it, dude. I'm still going. It's locked in, bro. Wow, that's crazy. What? That's so weird. So I don't have to exactly spam it completely. Once it targets the dagger when it's gone like it'll just immediately go until you probably put in another command what if i put in another command it still goes off i didn't press either i mean you could definitely do it jumping walls the same thing applies Like, if you're gonna do an escape, right, you're better off just, like... Or, like... <laughs> uh, what can we do with this, though? Like, what can, can we do something out of it? I know you could use abilities in between it, and it would still jump. But, like, I don't see the point in that at all. You could do that. Ooh, wait, hold on. What if?
that's kind of a use, right? You can, you have, your Zanyas has to end before the dagger disappears though. After it disappears, it doesn't work. Let me try after. Yeah, you, you don't put in the command. So I feel like it's mainly there for escaping. I don't really see any other use, but I do see like opening sometimes when like, let's say you're in lane, right? And you set up a Q and they're really low and you're really low. They stay away from the dagger, right? It disappears. And then like you jump in on the dagger and they're not even going to see it coming. And then you just ult. Or like you use something, you know, maybe ignite. The thing is like you won't have your Shimpo, so you better like kill him. But I do feel like that's one thing. Because like people generally don't like to walk on the daggers. And they won't let you like gap close on them. But you can use the dagger to like gap close. The dagger that disappears. So that's one use. Wait, hold on. I don't have time. <laughs> I could probably do it with the Baron Recall though. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Can't believe we're testing this. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> I don't see the point though. I don't see the point. This is unrealistic too. Like when would you ever use this? <laughs> you have to predict where the enemy would be so far in advance. Yeah. But like, what if they're not there, dude? You're just wasting all this time just walking over and like, imagine no one's there. Like you don't really get anything out of it and you only get a small hop. Basically you're closing only this much distance. That's it. That's all you're doing. And you're doing it on nothing. But you do have all of your abilities. My Q cooldown can come back depending on like how far I'm back. So then I could do it from here. Spam it. And then my Q would be up. That'd be kind of nutty actually. That would be kind of nutty if you can ever pull that off. If I tactically place a dagger beforehand, right? So like, let's say, bam, I walk away. And then I start spamming. And they don't expect it. Right? Then like, I can maybe go for something here. You know what I mean? You get that free, you get a free blink. But like your E isn't reset. That's the only bad thing. Like you have to W. And then you, you start doing whatever. Kind of something you would do on the spot when the situation comes. It's not something you can easily set up very well.